What is up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of the Daily J. I can only focus on LeBron James today. I mean, the records that he broke last night and the, the things that he's accomplished is just too good to pass up for this Daily J. And so I'm going with the fact that, you know, LeBron passed Michael Jordan in scoring last night. That's crazy. He was humble in his new con news conference. So, you know, classic LeBron. But also the fact that we're going to see the three-peat in the NBA Finals. First time that's happened in NBA history with the fact that the Warriors and Cavs are going to play each other again for the third straight year. That's going to be an incredible matchup. And uh, also the fact that he's gone to seven straight NBA Finals. That's the first time it's happened since Bill Russell. Put that in perspective. People are still saying, yeah, but, and then saying LeBron's name behind that. He's gone to seven straight finals. Put that into perspective. That's something that we may never see again in our lifetime from anybody. That's crazy. We need to appreciate what we're seeing because we're seeing greatness. And uh, you know what? I've been saying that LeBron, he's on a pedestal, but it's crazy that he's the underdog in basically every NBA Finals that he goes to, and then people still bash him for losing. I mean, he's the underdog. Can you believe that? Michael Jordan was never the underdog in the Finals that he played. But LeBron, going up against arguably still the greatest team in NBA history in the Warriors, I mean, they go 73 wins last year, and then they replace their mediocre Harrison Barnes for an MVP in Kevin Durant. I'm excited about that matchup, LeBron versus Kevin Durant. I think that's the primetime matchup. I think Nike obviously loves that. I mean, the, the marketing that they're going to be able to do for the finals based off of Team Nike versus Team Nike for LeBron and KD, second meeting that they've met in the NBA Finals in their careers, I'm excited. And, you know, it can't be understated that KD is more ready for this NBA Finals than he was in the last one. And I, I believe I'm one of those people that think that it's LeBron James number one in the NBA and then KD number two. And, you know, that can't be put understated at all. Now, with all of that, though, I am, I've been saying it for months now, I'm taking the Warriors to win the NBA Finals, but I do think it's going to go seven games. So I'm going to give the Cavs the seven-game series, but they're going to lose to the Warriors in seven. LeBron probably going to dominate KD, but I think Steph versus Kyrie, Draymond versus Kevin Love, those are the matchups we need to watch to determining factor in this series. But I'm excited, and that'll do it for this edition of The Daily J.